But if one were to reduce the qu oh, a sauce hunter! <laughs> Imagine that. Quite a bit more petite than the. Uh, no matter, no matter. Even if it couldn't spare its heartier specimen, I'm sure the me. Why? Uh, I it was I who cured the Duchess of Arata of her unslakeable thirst. A simple pinch of a trope of belladonna. In Not to mention that it's been uh, my guidance that has permitted my apprentice Evelyn to make quite a name for. Yes, yes. <clears throat> If that's how we refer her, she's in the other room as we speak. Perhaps you can prevail upon her to offer a demonstration. She's gotten hold of a stone, supposedly capable of fantastic... But she claims to have gotten the relic from a little northern town, uh, Silver Glen by name, and that an utter rubbish, I say. But with these blasted undead haunting the travel routes, I can hardly... Well, she certainly possesses a critical... I expect she'll be a very successful healer in her own right when the time... Certainly, what would you like to know? The counselor, terrible loss there. From what I can tell, it seems to be a simple case of jealousy turned violent. I've applied myself to that problem for two. I declare it an act of the Almighty's, if I believed in such things. Some events, Source Hunter, can be neither controlled nor understood by mere men. Hmm. Anybody? Neither of you cares uh, to leave. A mysterious step. healing stone. Oh. Ooh, interesting indeed. Nothing sets me on edge like inexplicable magic. Uh, Excuse me? This is a private sick room. Who in the name of the Seven do you think you are? But oh, I'm sorry. It's this task. I'm just... Who am I? I'm an apprentice of the healing arts. Healing. But this decision feels like precisely the opposite. I've been racking my brain trying to decide on the best method to settle this grave situation. What would you like to know? One of the brave few willing to traverse the trade routes plagued by the undead. A young man. Thankfully for him, a cattle trader found him nearly dead. Quite the venerable staple of Cyseal, Stephen, and recently blessed with his third. Nearly everyone in Cyseal is familiar with grinning Stephen, and as you can imagine, he's quite dear to his family. Yes, a curious relic indeed. I got it from a kindly abbot. Loik by name, in the northern town of Silver. I myself was nothing if not skeptical of his claims, but something... But it's strange. The stone is only good for a single use at a time before it reverts to a... You are? Ah, oh, I thank you a million times for your help. soothing a corpse... Yes. Boris deserves to experience all the pleasures of life that Stephen... Boris it is? Yes, I'll deliver the stone. I'm glad we'll get to save one man. Uh, uh, no, no, this is highly abnormal. What is this? This lightning! I didn't get to deserve this, but... I I don't know what I did to deserve this, but I'm beyond grateful. I don't know what I did Thank to you. Thank you eternally for your help. Though your reaction... That strange reaction you caused. Blue lightning from a healing stone. I've never seen anything like it. I've been studying under Theleron for some time now, but I've a passion for this work, you see. A passion to see things put in order, from a flesh wound healed to an entire city made resistant to a fatal illness. What right has something as trivial as a wound or as senseless as an epidemic to take a human life? This, but I'm beyond grateful. That relic of Evelyn's, the so-called healing crystal. I've seen one like one look at that gem will be enough to convince me it's no force of good, but a bloodstone through and through. I've come across such a stone before. It may be bloodstone. It's so named for a reason. If that stone is what I suspect, I wouldn't trust Cyseal's so-called... I don't know what I did to deserve this, but I'm beyond grateful. 
know it's here somewhere. I wouldn't want to ruin this particular batch of party elixir with too much worm. I'm feeling stronger already. A thousand thanks to you. My, what will I do? What won't I do? Seeing how short life can be, and after I've climbed every mountain in Rivalon, and smooched every girl who'll have me, I'll devote myself to learning the magic that- I'll see you around then. I'm liable to spring out of this- Could have gotten far. Can't say I didn't want to live. Wanted it with every fiber of my heart. Not just for my own sake, but for my- f Enjoy what remains of your life, will you? Never- But I'm beyond grateful. I feel no pleasure in bidding you farewell, friend. I don't know what I did to deserve this, but I'm beyond grateful. Sorry, friend. I wish there were enough stones for both of us. I feel no pleasure in bidding you farewell, friend. To what do I owe the repeated pleasure, Source Hunter? Bidding you farewell, friend. Sorry, friend. I wish there were enough stones for both of us. Or you and the King Crab before. You're welcome to. I am Unsinkable Sam. At least that's what they call me around here. He used to be a ship's cat, but the clipper I was on sank when I was the only one to wrestle himself free from the wake. A magnificent ship she was. Used to belong to a pirate, I was told. Unlike me, the moment I hit the water, I writhed around like I would on a hot tin roof. By some miracle, I managed to reach the beach covered in cats. So I was. What friends I had, they drowned. Not that I have it bad here, mind you. Life, milk, and fish are plenty. Most folks will pet me kindly, and when one of the village girls holds me tight against her, Maxine, the mayor's darling pet. So, she likes me. I, I know she does. But when I declare my love, she backs away. I don't know why. By all means. People make a fuss about them because they endanger the lands around the city. They never bother me when I'm out for my monthly walk. Oh, down mansion orcs to me. They say he's privy to ancient and arcane secrets. The likes of which I doubt you could even fathom, old friend. Where's young Esmeralda? Maxine. The mayor's. She likes me. I am unsinkable Sam. Gosh, one who flaunts the highways and byways of silly old Sicy. But where are my manners? I am Maxine, and you must be one of those hunters. Brrr, I'm the mayor's cat, don't you know? Born and raised on velvets and viands of most exquisite variety. But of course, darling. Be my guest. Oh, this quaint little town is a tad too parochial for one of my more urbane tastes. But one has to make do ha- Heavens forbid! No, fear is rather too strong a term. Oh, he's a darling old Tom, isn't he? Pours over tales in love with me and- Who can blame him? The feelings well- At the risk of sounding as shallow as a spaniel. I can't but admit my love does not come unconditionally. What if we were to have- Oh dear Sam, he's such a good old bean. But he does rather reside at the bottom. Ah, oh, cats. Such beauty. 
such grace they have. Magnificence incarnate. Slight and sharp. I wouldn't trust a cat as far as I could throw it. And I'm a world lead cat tosser. Oh, I think I'll sleep by the fire. Ah, so there's the rub. I am but a stray, and she is the mayor's cat. Oh, would that I still had my collar. Such a marvel it was, as bejeweled as the night sky with precious stones, said to have once been worn by a far-off Maharaja, like the king of all cats I looked when I wore it. A gift bestowed upon me by a princess among the waves it remains, I imagine. Worn, perhaps, by a crab who fancies himself a Caesar with it. If only... it is of you. The very picture of youth. Pray, let me be forward with you, O oh, sapling rose. I am but an aged elf that has seen the years parade in long succession. Gladly shall I tell you more. Will I regale thee? You would, you, you would listen to my grievances? Guide me towards untroubled realm. Hot spiced wine and a snug little room awaits us on the king crab. Renowned as I is flattered when mortals dare among the dead to seek him out. Well, here I am, never <laughs> as if I need introduction. Nemris the thinker, the theorist, the visionary. Come now, sure. Oh, I've written so many celebrated treatises. But of course you have read and revered that there isn't a civilized soul alive that hasn't perused its profound pages percolating with perspicacity. Alas, that so few show an understanding of my words, so few you can and indeed you must. But alas, I was not buried with a printed version of that blueprint of genius that is my inimitable... Do you truly feel you are ready to prove that you have read? Then we shall proceed to test the metal of your... Between life and death, death is the greater force. So argues the clergyman. Hmm, is he correct? May the seven keep you. Correct. He is not. Let us proceed. Life is life's own goal. The question that is itself the answer. Good. Now I am unburdened of all worries, am I not? Where are you? Are you here, Jake? Jake? I concur. Last query. Boldly do I scorn the bonds of faith and fear. 
death I dub thee life's equal. Is this my salvation or my undoing? Indeed. Oh, most impressive. Nothing short of miraculous. You have verily fathomed the myth. Content in the knowledge that my legacy is in good hands. Ta da! I shall Rest see in you peace, in the next time. you traveler may your lost loved ones rest in peace with such things. You'll be concerned enough when you realize that reward money won't be lining your pockets. Um, yes, <laughs> that is most satisfactory. <laughs> the game, yes! A game of blood and brutality, of death and death. The elves of Gandavum, they lived in peace. Oh, yes, but one night, when the moon had hid her face, the orcs of the tribe of Kazuldagar beset our city. They cooked and ate and burned every last one of us. The light of dawn all undone. Every last one of us. Except for me, the midnight rambler, away from the city. I was very old. I may be frail, a withered grey, but the wealth of kings is mine. Countless assassins have ministered to the vengeance. I have tracked her down by the curse of the spine spear I have. She does not know her ill-shapen sun is setting fast. Color the dusk red, O oh sword of youth. Bloody the day with the bramble sap that runs through the veins. Yes, Victoria. She is the one whose heart must be held in... The orcs of Gazultica, they knew my name, oh yes, by the bite of the roving rattler, they knew my design, and so they sought to save her name is that of a woman, her employment that of a civilized being, but by the fork of Barbara Maneater she is nothing but an orc, a cyst of nature, one of a misbegotten litter, Victoria. Librarian, <laughs> daughter, <laughs> adopted child of Cecil, mayor of Sicil. Careful, comrade. I think I sense a sorcerer in you. That was quite the radical change we witnessed. 
I never would have thought that the benign old man we met outside would turn out to be a vengeance-driven aficionado of assassins. It all in blood. Indeed. Victoria probably doesn't even know about her past. And yet she's on... Again, adventurer. I hope you wipe those muddy boots on your way in. What? Oh, it's you! What news? What? Oh, it's you! What news? Maxine? What in heaven's name are you? I spent months trying to teach that worthless hound how to fetch, and it sat through every lesson looking at- I've always been more fond of cats myself. Someone wants to see Victoria dead? Hear you me. You must stop that dog by any means necessary. As mayor of- Place this book here. A volume of poetry among novels. Tours Jagetta, friend. Sore. Oh, do pardon my language, my friend, but that is quite the startling revelation. So much does he not see that I am now the one who is to be wronged? Why, oh why, must he make me of all so? Let us approach the situation with reason and ask ourselves, where do we go from here? Though, first let me say this. From my heart, I thank you for warning me. I thank you and I trust you. So pray, my amulet? But it is Haxmaji, a sacred token that houses the presence of my ancestors. No, I cannot part with my talisman, the keepsake of my soul. I guess I cannot say that it is. I do this very reluctantly, but fine. Have my talisman. May what? Oh, it's you! What news? Big cheese on your 
I wait for thee in the dark, but the stab, the stab shall bring the... Yes, yes. Have you made the orc? Yes. So it is. <laughs> so it is. <laughs> By Angus, the impaler's favorite stake you've done well by me. Oh, ravager of...